For joining me now to speak more on the news, the British monarch is a council member of Nigerian British Association. She Yadiemo, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Well, it's now official King Charles III has been proclaimed king. And in his address there, he mentioned that uh, it's a hearty and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty uh, that he's taken up. Uh, just how do you see uh, the coming days as the king uh, uh, continues his duties fully? Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, the truth of the matter is, um, like is widely said, uh, the kingdom of the United Kingdom is probably one of the um, longest um, kingdom you have in the world. Um, one thing you will always give to that kingdom is the fact that it's a kingdom that is well organized. Everything that needs to be in place is already in place. And that's why the transition is similar. Everything that needs to be done um, is already in place. And every step um, sort of um, would follow itself uh, without anyone noticing that things are happening, apart from the positive impacts that you would see. Um, it, it's a kingdom that is admired all over the world because of the way things are being structured. I mean, as you have already said, um, as the king becomes king, uh, you now have another uh, new prince of Wales. And that's the way things would start to fall in place, um, um, you know, all over the place in the kingdom. And everything. It appears we lost connection with uh, Mr. Adiemo there. All right, Mr. Adiemo, you may please continue. You were talking about the kingdom and how uh, much loved uh, the the people managing it are. Okay, I understand there is no audio from Mr. Diemos uh, end. We'll try to reconnect uh, with you for more on that. Uh, okay, I'm told to direct you to please uh, unmute your uh, device, Mr. Diemo, so we can hear Sorry, you. Sorry, I didn't hear you very well. What yes, please, we can hear you now. I didn't hear you very well. Yes, please, so Mr. Diemo, you're clear and audible yes. now. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, please. So, uh, indeed, you have described the beauty of the monarchy, and uh, it was such a life uh, of service that uh, the late Queen Elizabeth II lived 70 years on the throne, administering justice, uh, speaking to the lives of people. She saw the good times, the bad times, all of them mixed together. Now King Charles is, uh, is at the helm of affairs. And uh, with all of the tributes we're receiving, it's looking like it would be a good right for him. Do you hold that view as well? Yes, it's going to be a good right, like I said. I mean, fortunately, he has always played a role, even while the mother was alive. And um, he's, attended, he's attended to a lot of very senior official duties. And, I mean, like I described, the way they structure their kingdom, Everything is done in a way that um, the king, the now King Charles III, has always been in the works. He's always, you know, played one very, very important role or the other. So, I mean, you're going to see a very, very um, successful king. Like I said, we've had the opportunity to have hosted him severally in Nigeria as an association, and he did a lot of work. You know, he, he relates to people very, very seamlessly. I mean, the man's people. I mean, that's what I would say for, for, for now. He's a person that is going to do, uh, maybe not better than his mom, mm -hmm. but obviously he's going to wear the shoes with a lot of confidence because he's been playing the role in some way or the other all of this year. Indeed, Mr. Diemo. Now, uh, the Queen Charles, I mean, King Charles III is now at the helm of affairs. Uh, what is the implication of this? on uh, the economy over there and in Nigeria? Because, for instance, we understand that uh, the currency and all of those would need to change uh, with time. Uh, what is the implication? Uh, again, uh, first of all, we all need to understand that 
um, he occupies a ceremonial um, office. Um, so um, everything that uh, concerns the executive role is being performed by the prime minister. Now, for the change of money, again, it speaks to the fact that they're a very, very organized society. Nothing goes wrong. Not everything is done systematically. The, you know, the withdrawal of the old note and the uh, introduction of the old note will be done in a way that nobody will feel anything. The timeline will be properly defined and everything will be done in a way that would, you know, would almost not affect anything negatively. Uh, that you will give to the kingdom, I mean, one of the oldest kingdoms in the world. And obviously, they've done well. And if you talk about organization and the way things run, you want to give it to the United Kingdom. They will do this in a way that it will not impact the economy negatively. That I know for sure. All right, uh, Mr. Ademo. Shi Ademo is a council member of Nigerian British Association. He's also publisher in Watch Africa. Thank you for sharing your perspectives with us on TVC News at 10. Thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure.